Good morning, everyone. My PhD topic is complementary and alternative Chinese medicine in pediatric oncology. My name is Xi Meng Li. My supervisor is Miklos Garimi. My SMS are Xin Yitian and Mark Hanedofri. My statistician is Gaguli Agosh. My vision is to improve the quality of life of pediatric oncology patients during and after treatment. And my mission is to confirm the efficacy of traditional Chinese medicine and promote the use of traditional Chinese medicine complementary therapies. For this, I have two specific goals. My first topic is investigating the addition of complementary Chinese herbal medicine among pediatric oncology patients treated with conventional therapies. I would, I would like to introduce some traditional Chinese medicine methods, acupuncture, manipulative therapy, cupping, and herbal medicine. My article will only focus on herbal medicine. Chinese herbal medicine is a traditional practice based on the principles of traditional Chinese medicine. It uses natural substances and diagnostic techniques to create personalized formulas that promote health and treat illness. It is natural and personalized to the child's individual needs. It may offer a gentler and more holistic approach to pediatric health care than conventional medicine. Chinese herbal medicine plays a positive role in regulating patients' immune system, which helps cancer patients to fight against cancer itself and finally improve patients' life quality. Our aim is to investigate the effect of additional Chinese herbal medicine therapy in pediatric oncology. Our clinical question is, does additional Chinese herbal medicine therapy change the effect and the toxicity of conventional therapy in pediatric oncology patients? Our hypothesis is the addition of Chinese herbal medicine therapy can improve survival rate and reduce the side effects and toxicities of conventional therapy. This is my search key. After the selection, we have 81 articles, and all of them are RCTs. In the 81 included <coughs> RCTs, 29 prescriptions were found, and the mailing contained 136 different substances altogether. In conventional forest plus, the study level outcomes and the estimates are shown. As, uh, and with the overall point estimate and the confidence interval represented as a diamond at the bottom. Here you can see the pod results in mean difference of white blood cell count change between the traditional Chinese medicine and the conventional therapy groups. This is especially relevant since the most common pediatric oncology are leukemias, which caused by the which caused by the um, the Uh, sorry, which caused the, by the, uh, so, uh, positive outcomes favor the additional Chinese herbal medicine and negative outcomes positive uh, dis disfavor the additional Chinese herbal medicine. However, study populations can be grouped it by several categorical variables. Therefore, forest plots were, with subgroupings are created, which are also well known. Here you can see the subgroups based on the tumor type. Uh, in this finger, the, for leukemias, it is the difference in white blood cell count change is not significantly as the non-effect passes through the diamond. Furthermore, the difference change in is not clinically relevant either, as the estimated value falls within the clinically irrelevant range. However, we must also consider the time point of the follow-up sampling. To represent this, we created another forest plot with, some, with subgroupings based on the, follow, the time of the follow-up. It is 
evident that both during the treatment and uh, at the end of the treatment, the difference in white blood cell count changes is, not, is neither significantly nor clinically relevant. However, analysis based on only one subgroup of ribose can be misleading. It, and uh, the number of the article and their data structure allowed us to examine the previous two subgrouping variables within one analysis. Uh, with the diamonds indicating the estimates for each subgroup. So this, uh, this finger shows the, uh, the uh, study level outcomes in the usual format. Below that, you can see the estimates uh, for each subgroup combinations are given. For example, for leukemias during treatment, the difference is about minus 0.12 with the confidence interval of approximately minus 3 to positive 3 indicating that the change is not significantly nor clinically either, both during treatment and after the treatment. During chemotherapy, the hemoglobin levels also decreases as a side effect, but our data shows that with the application of the additional Chinese herbal medicine reduces the, this side effect. But this is shown to be only significant on, uh, for leukemias, although both during treatment and after the end of treatment. Similar to white blood cell and uh, hemoglobin levels, the level of platelets produced by, produced by uh, bone marrow is again positively affected by the additional application of Chinese herbal medicine. Now we are working on the fingers and the manuscript. My second topic is safety and efficacy of turmeric extract and curcumin supplements in malignant oncology disorders. Curcumin is a fat-soluble polyphenolic pigment extracted from turmeric and herb traditionally used in Chinese herbal medicine. Curcumin has a variety of biological activities <coughs> such as anti-inflammatory and antibacterial. Our aim is to investigate the effect of additional of curcumin in pediatric oncology. Our clinical question is, does the addition of curcumin to conventional therapy change survival and side effects in pediatric oncology? And our hypothesis is the addition of curcumin to conventional therapy improves survival and side effects in pediatric oncology. For my first topic, I plan to submit on April. And thank you for your attention. I would like to close my presentation with a quote. Keep your face always towards the sunshine, and the shadows will always fall behind you. Uh, for your first project, we know that herbs can interfere with the normal metabolism of chemotherapy. Uh, did you explore the hepatic or the renal function of those patients? I'm sorry, can you? <clears throat> what about the renal and the hepatic function? of the cancer patients that have chemotherapy and also take herbal medicine. Did you get the chance to explore these outcomes? You mean those um, by the traditional yes. medicine? And yes. yes. So in our articles, there are actually almost of them on the comparison group, they are received the, the additional Chinese herbal medicine and the chemotherapy at the same time. And the renal and the hepatic function, how was it for those patients? Which Did they have side effects regarding their uh, hepatic or renal function? Um, yes, but uh, this is not our articles focused on and uh, uh, so they are nearly mentioned in the articles. Can you explain with 
how many cases and in what cases can you use this kind of method? Um, it is very important to emphasize that uh, there is there is a, a deep deep background uh, performed by the expert uh, to this method, and based on our cons consultations with the expert of our project, I can tell you the following about the method. First of all, you need to write combination the different subgrouping categories. And if we imagine a combination of combinations two by two can contingency table, there cannot be two empty cells next to each other. But for example, if we know the data of three cells of it, we can make an estimate for the force. I also just want to ask about your first topic. So I think the question was that uh, uh, Chinese medicine is changing the effect of uh, the conventional therapy or not. You focused on hemoglobin and white blood cell level. Why you choose these parameters? Because you not only check uh, hematological, but also solid tumors. Uh, you can also check other parameters. Maybe if you check these or, or focused on, you will find also interesting things. Thank you for your attention. My colleagues and I um, thought a lot about uh, which, which outcomes values to present. And uh, since in the group I'm studying, one third of the children with cancers suffer from the hemato hematopoietic system cancers like um, leukemias. So we considered it's very, it's particularly important to um, examine the dynamics of this disease, focusing on the examination of the lines of bone marrow of uh, bone marrow um, formed elements.